In this video, we're going to be looking at the new terrain kit from Games Workshop, the Ruins of Dol Guldur. It's a new plastic kit and I cannot wait to get inside it. I'll see you in a minute. Hi everyone, Steve here. Uh, very excited about this video. We are going to be looking at the new plastic terrain kit from Games Workshop of the Ruins of Dol Guldur. This was announced this year at Ardicom. Um, bit of a surprise to everyone and I'm absolutely over the moon uh, that they've decided to create this kit. It looks amazing. Let's get it on the table and have a look at the sprue. Okay, so let's have a look inside the box. A big old box, so I've had to put it on the camera sideways. Uh, great imagery from uh, the model kit uh, and just yeah it looks exactly how it should look which is what we want right okay so we have the ruins of Dol Guldur instruction kit I'm pretty self-explanatory yeah there's quite a bit to it and I would recommend not just getting your glow out and start sticking things together um, having a read through that it looks like there's only one way to build it which will end up like that but if this is like any of the other kits, it is going to be really modular and you can mess around with it. Pretty much like the Rohan houses and build different ways of putting it together and things like that. Okay. So I really like... I really like the brick texture. Very, very nice. A lot of detail gone into there. The pillars are in two halves. They've got like the, 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 the iron, the cast iron... Um, segment bolted to the brickwork which is iconic of Dol Guldur in the movies and look, look, looks really great, it makes it look really creepy the stairs obviously um, really nice nice gate I suppose you could, if you get multiple kits have that gateway open or closed set the gate off statues in two parts which I didn't expect and the vines as well, like the prickly vines, really nice, really nice. And I don't know if you can see on the outside of the sprue, see how they've put it on the outside, these little kind of corner pieces, and I'm assuming they're there to attach wall segments together, because the, um, the locking segments at the side of the wall segments look exactly the same. So whether that's something to do with the modular side of it, Again, you can see this is going to be part of that the, sort of the famous archways that you see at Dol Guldur. Great, really like that. Really like that. Let's have a look. So it looks like these two, yeah, these two are exactly the same. These two sprues are exactly the same. Uh, and it's more of the same, really. Um, there's only so much you can say about a sprue full of ruins. But what I will say is, it looks great. They've even textured the underside of the floor, which is nice. So this looks like this is going to be the top first floor um, floor panels. And rather than just keeping the underside blank, which you'll probably never see, they've textured that as well. So that's a really nice touch. I do like that because if you do come to customise, it's things like that that make a difference. Um, really nice. Just got some wind like windows and archways on this sprue. It's a great piece of kit. It is a great piece of kit. And it's jam-packed. Look at the sprue. There's hardly any dead space on there. The real estate of the sprue, they've taken up almost every single little millimetre. Look at the tiny skulls. I remember Rob mentioning about the tiny skulls. <laughs> Having to get the tiny skulls uh, tooled. And the smallest skulls, apparently, I think he said. I'm sure he said they're the smallest skulls that have been tooled in plastic. Uh, for any GW kit to match him with the scale. Love it, absolutely love it. So you get two of them sprues and one sprue which has got the main archway and the, all the little kind of detail bits like the, the, the rotten tree, the statue um, and the vines and things like that. Then you've also got some kind of, it's like skeletons which will go, they'll, they'll be like scatter terrain for whether you want to use them or not. I think this is a fantastic kit, fantastic kit. Right, let's get back in front of the camera and have a little chat. 
So the ruins of Dolgaldor, very, very, very nice. I cannot wait to get my grubby little paws on a few more boxes of those and build a full board. As you all know, I do love making uh, my gaming boards, especially for Middle Earth, they're just so thematic and uh, just sort of transport you to the movies and the scenes that you read about in the books. So um, yeah, this kit is great. It's, I don't think Games Workshop have released a bad plastic kit for this system. Every single kit. Go all the way back to the ruins of Askeliath. Great kit. Can be used in anything. Looks really cool. Can be chopped up and rebuilt in any, any way that you like. Just go and have a look at uh, Generation Shifts Askeliath ruins uh, thing that it was. The model was, uh, it's a diorama, sorry, not a thing. Uh, it was actually on display in Games Workshop. I'm not sure if it's still there, but if it is, go and have a look. If not, if you search on any of the groups on Facebook, you will find it. If you search Generation Shift or Skillia Thruins Diorama, Games Workshop, Warhammer World, you'll find it and it will blow your mind. Just the things that are possible with this. And I think this kit is going to be very similar. So I'm going to go away now, start working out how I'm going to put this together and start working out how I'm going to get my fingers on more of these sets and hopefully they don't sell out too quick. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get building. So look forward to that video, which will be coming on the channel. Uh, but until then, I'll see you all soon. Take care.